it's your favorite Loki sourced homegrown potato coming at you live. We'll call her Jess, aka what's on her face, and welcome to today's video. <laughs> I am super excited for what we have in store today. I feel like I start every video this way, but what can I say? I'm excited. I think it's good stuff. <laughs> I am going to teach you how to create a phenomenal makeup look, not to toot my own horn, but it's going to be phenomenal with like no knowledge of kind of what you're doing. <laughs> Basically, this is a tutorial for how to create like a bomb makeup look without really like the skills of like those bomb ass Instagrammers who create those bomb ass looks. Like we're gonna create a bomb ass look, but it's gonna be a little more simple, but it's gonna look just as complicated. So that is kind of what's super exciting here. It is probably my favorite look to do just because I find it to be so easy. Anyone can do it, but it just, it looks so cool. There are obviously ways you can kind of spruce it up, which maybe I'll show you too. Mm. All you need is three colors and some clean blending brushes, which let's be honest, like that's probably a lie because you know I don't have any clean blending brushes, but we're gonna like, use them anyway because you can because we don't know what we're doing and we are still bomb am i right guys so without further ado let's jump into today's little tutorial for this tutorial we are going to use this beautiful beautiful bad boy this is the colored rain vivid bright vivid pigments and shades palette and she is beautiful oh my god we love her She's got the three shades we need, honey, let me tell you. Um, uh, I wanted to use her specifically for two reasons. One, she is super bright and beautiful, and we are really trying to pretend we got some skill here, so we need color. <laughs> and two, uh, one of my friends on Instagram, her name is Confidently, how cute, because her name is Lee, so Confidently. <laughs> So cute, I love it. Um, I will link her down below so you can check her out. She's also got a YouTube. But, so she said there's like a little bit of controversy around this palette, even though all I've heard are good things, but apparently some bitches be out here saying like, the palette is shitty and doesn't blend, what? So I'm, I'm gonna show you that this palette is bomb. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a big fat thumbs up, and ring that little bell so you are notified when my shenanigans hit the web. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so we are all primed with the Milani primer thing. And now we are going to decide which shades we will play with today. Mm. So, like I said earlier, we need three shades for this look. The goal is to have, like, a gradient going on, so we definitely want a dark shade, a medium shade, and a light shade. Um, so I think the dark shades in this palette are these two, this one, and that one. I always gravitate toward these two. Guys, I am so bad at putting colors together. It's like insane. I don't even know like how I consider myself like a makeup person or how I want to be a makeup person. <laughs> um, I'm really feeling this dark green, this middle green, and then this green. I know, like super not creative, you guys. Sue me. Okay, so the first brush you need is your pinky finger. So you, you, you take your brush and you go into this bad boy right over here. Boop. Her name is Squad Up. These are sold in singles too. So if you want to like recreate this look exactly, just buy the singles. If you hate the whole palette, which I would not understand, the whole palette is like a sickening deal. Anyway, so yes, that's it. We are gonna finger paint on our eyeball. Make sure she gets nice and coated. Ooh, look. Perfect. Go above our crease a little bit. Just a little bit above. I ain't nobody got time for a packing brush when God gave us these fingers. You want it to be the darkest it can be. I also like to wing her out just a little bit, not like super winged out because we will be blending later, but give her like a little V situation. So now if you look absolutely terrible and freaky and just oof, then you know you're on the right track. <laughs> I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and we will be right back for the rest. <laughs> okay, so both eyes are done. I really recommend, especially if you're a beginner, to do both eyes at the same time because 
once we start blending out, this green is going to appear as though it's higher up because it will be blended a little bit higher. So when you're doing this eye, you might think, oh, I have to put it higher up. No, you don't. Initially, they both have to be low, and then when you blend, they go up. So that's why I find it more helpful to get the most even and symmetrical look if you do both eyes at the same time. Does that make sense? This blending brush is clean enough. It's just like a little bit of a brown shade on it, but you know, we're fine. We're gonna dip into level up this green shade right over here. Oh, you need to go so light with these because they are so pigmented. Ready? Oh, do you see? Oh my god, that's beautiful. So now we are gonna place her right at the border and we blend. And it's much better to go in like with a little bit and then go back and put a little bit more than to get too much at once because if you do too much at once, blending is gonna become a nightmare. Okay, so we can already see this coming together. Look how beautiful and smoked out it is. Um, you do really wanna take your time with the blending because that is the most important part to kind of make your look attractive. <laughs> the first screen you use, the dark one squat over here, you can definitely just throw on as long as you make sure the color is really dark enough. Um, but the second green, it's really important to make sure you are blending it out because that's what's gonna make your look seem professional, you know, seem like you know what you're doing. It's all about the blend, honey. <laughs> Why do I feel like yellow is gonna ruin this look? I don't really want to brighten this up, you know what I mean? I think it looks so good like this. <sighs> Let's do this unbothered shade. Okay, I'm into it. We're gonna do such a light layer of unbothered right here. We're using this instead of the yellow. Oh my god, she comes off so aggressively. Ready? Ugh, I hate that. Ruined the whole look. We're gonna dust off a bit and then we're just gonna blend. So luckily the shades blend together beautifully so I'm not super mad. But I'm gonna go in with another layer of level up because I really wanna darken this green. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> so easy, this palette is truly so easy to use. Okay, so we are actually all blended. Oof. It looks terrible because of the lighting, but you guys, <laughs> I promise this looks super awesome. So I'm going to finish the rest of this face off camera, and then I will be back for the lower lash line and maybe to spruce up the look a bit. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will see you in a second. <laughs> All right, all right, we are back and we are feeling cute and looking cuter, am I right? <laughs> okay, so we are gonna finish off the lower lash and then we'll talk. <laughs> so first we are gonna go into a squad. We're gonna take a little teensy, can you see that brush over there? A little teensy tiny brush, just like that. We're gonna line the lower lash. Okay, we are all lined, but we know that a professional looking ass bitch does not have these harsh lines, so we gotta blend them out. And we're gonna do that with Level Up right over here. This is a fluffy brush, but it's very small, very thin, a lot smaller than the brush we blended with. You want to use a brush like this because you don't want it everywhere. You just want a, like a very precise little blend. So let's do oh, these colors. So now that everyone is all blended out and professional looking, we are gonna go back in with the teensy brush, dip back into squad, and line just a little bit, just a little bit because you do want this little liner effect. Even though I really don't want to, now we are going to do to the bottom the same that we did to the top, which is use this unbothered shade and just smoke everything out. <laughs> Hey, that I did this to myself. So now I'm actually gonna take my green under eye brush and we are gonna go one more time into level up. Something else you guys should know, never be scared to go back in with your colors. It's okay to lose some color when you're blending. That's just what happens. Like I just don't want this level up shade to be overpowered by Unbothered, but I did put Unbothered last. So obviously there's gonna be a lot of it. 
So now I'm literally just going back with level up and making sure that she is not passed out drunk on the floor. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. I am absolutely loving how this delicious eye came out. This is the look basically. One thing I would suggest is that you do a little inner corner highlight. Just use the same highlighter you used on your cheek and put it on your little inner corner. So that is how you guys can convince people that you know what you are doing. So if you're going to like a party and you just want to, you know, show off to your friend a little bit, do this three-tone little blend situation and everyone will be on the floor, I swear. <laughs> um, or, you know, if you just started your makeup account and you don't really know what to do, just play with three colors on your eye, you know? Just take three colors, blend them up, post them, and hello, you will be good to go. People will be convinced that you know what you are doing and that could get you off the ground, who knows? <laughs> I don't even know why I'm here giving advice how to grow your Insta. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm pretending that's why you're convinced. Uh -huh. I am so cringeworthy. It's fine. So now, for the last step of our video, this is the look that I recommend to you, right? However, I personally have some other toys that I would like to play with. <laughs> so, if you are feeling a little adventurous, like, please don't get me wrong, this is bomb. I, I look awesome. This is great. Beautiful. We love it. But you can spruce it up a little bit with glitter. Glitter will just seriously take your shit to the next level. Um, the colors are not on this. I will leave the shade that I'm using in my description box. This is from Love Olivia Kate. They have such cute glitters, amazing options. I have a million. <laughs> um, if you want some of your own, you can use my code What's on Her Face 50 and get 50% off an order of $10 or pounds or more. So that's pretty crazy. You can get some of these bad boys and you can get a sick ass look. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. And it's going to be awesome. Okay. So first thing we need is our NYX glitter glue and a brush that looks like this. <laughs> See a nice little flat brush. We will apply some glitter glue and we are going to just take a little on the brush and we are going to apply right into our inner corner. I wonder how dangerous it is that this glitter glue makes my eyes burn. It's fine. Now we are taking this beautiful gorgeous glitter, dipping with the same brush, packing her in. Oh, we have transformed, haven't we? And now because we are truly extra AF, since this glitter has a nice little pinkish purple like shift or whatever, we are going to add this bad boy to our waterline. <laughs> That's right, we are gonna take a purple Jeffree Star Mini called I'm Royalty and we are gonna throw that puppy right, right in that waterline. <laughs> and here we have our transformed look. But like I said, if you want people to think you know what you're doing, do the first look without the glitter. So beautiful, so perfect. You will love how it comes out. If you do want to transform it and be further like professional looking in the easiest way possible, you saw how easy that was to just like put the glitter. You don't even need the liner. The liner's not a big deal. Like if I could recommend anything to you, it would be to get yourself just like any glitter, get yourself a nice wearable glitter. Use my code of what's on her face 50 for 50% 50 off a purchase of 10 pounds or dollars or more. So then you can have this nice little like look going on. We love that. So those are our looks for today. Did you guys enjoy that? Do you think this is helpful? Will you try the three toned challenge except the beauty is it's not a challenge you guys it's just easy fun relatively quick if you have anyone you need to impress or if you're just trying to like work on your blending whatever man then give this look a go let me know what you thought of it was it easy was it way harder than i made it out to be So that is all I have for you guys today. Please give this video a big fat thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and click that bell. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!